Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Tony'sPicks.com. I'm Tony T. Time for our NHL three pack. We're going Scott. You'll find his premium plays over at Tony'sPicks.com. Let's bring him in right now as we close out the regular season from the NHL. Remember what's going on? We're just just right now trickling in some of the Eastern Conference playoff matchups here for Saturday. Yeah, we've seen uh, some of those matchups, Tony, for the early action on Saturday. Still might be waiting for a few lines, but. You know, Islanders and Canes, Leafs and Bruins, uh, Lightning and Panthers, Caps and Rangers. We'll have the West uh, set tonight. We wrap up with these six games. We know the teams, Tony. We just don't know a couple of the matchups. We know the Abs are going to take on uh, the Jets. And uh, just a little bit of uh, with action with the Kings. We're going to see a uh, late night, uh, you know, uh, Vegas has a pretty easy matchup, but nothing looks certain, Tony, the way these last uh, three or four nights have gone in the NHL. Uh, L.A. trying, uh, you know, battle a little bit of battle here uh, to get to third place here uh, for the Kings. They are the number two wild card, but could pass Vegas. Vegas plays uh, uh, on Thursday night, however, with a pretty easy matchup against Anaheim, but who knows? Who knows? But I can tell you, I think the Kings wouldn't mind missing the missing the Oilers. Uh, they've been knocked out by the Oilers in mm -hmm. recent seasons. They've not had good mm -hmm. luck there. All right, here we go with our three pack. We begin here with Kraken and Wild. Wild a dollar forty eight total of six. Yeah, don't give away the script, Tony. <laughs> you know what I'm talking. You know what's going on as well as anybody. So let's take a look at this one with Minnesota and Seattle. Uh, yeah, a little bit tough here for these two, but good news uh, today, Tony. Really, just almost breaking news. Yeah, it's been a few hours, but uh, I wasn't sure. I mean, I mean, I heard the news earlier today, but uh, look, I think everybody's excited to have another year of Flurry, especially Wild fans. Yeah, they're disappointed things didn't work out. Maybe Flurry wasn't. Uh, maybe he is uh, getting to that point in his career, but. I don't know. If I'm looking for a goal, you know, I need to get back to the playoffs for one year. Uh, I don't, don't mind having Mark andre Fleury. He will return. He may get this start, Tony. I imagine he will get this start. Uh, this was talked about as a possible uh, send-off for Fleury. Would he go somewhere for another year? Would he retire? But Fleury will be back with the Wild for one more year uh, on a contract. Uh, uh, next year so good news and i think he'll play in this one it could be joey decord here uh seattle's been alternating goaltenders pretty much every year man decord's been in uh 49 games if he's in there this will be number 50 seattle's lost four straight outscored 14 to 6. Uh, minnesota beat up on san jose 6 to 2. they beat the kings 3 to 1. they beat minnesota uh 3 to nothing uh and that one was uh uh, uh Minnesota beat Seattle, Tony, three to nothing uh, earlier this season, six two the all time series. I'm going to go that uh, Minnesota goes out here with a pretty strong performance. Uh, I think Flurry will probably be in there. I think the fans are going to show their appreciation for his return, and I think they'll win it uh, on the puck line here on the season finale Thursday. All right, Mo Scott, <clears throat> click the link below for his best bets. Cracking wild, he likes wild puck line. Lay the goal in half here at plus the 164 All right guys be sure to click that link in the description and uh roll Ron's, uh premium pick to use the promo code tony t at checkout you'll save that 20 percent off all right let's continue on as we 